In a Saturday session, the U.S. Senate debates a massive budget bill. It contains funding to cut drug and health care costs while putting billions towards combating climate change. As Michael George reports, voting could go past midnight. It's a working weekend on Capitol Hill, where the Senate has convened to debate and vote on a sprawling bill called the Inflation Reduction Act. The bill contains provisions aimed at some of President Biden's domestic priorities, including lower health care and prescription drug costs. It also includes nearly $370 billion in spending on various climate change programs. Democrats say it would be the biggest investment of its kind in U.S. history. This is a historic day. Uh, on wind, on solar, on all electric vehicles, uh, a climate bank, uh, environmental justice uh, for millions of black, brown, indigenous people in our country. Republicans unanimously oppose the legislation, arguing that it will hurt the economy by raising taxes. Senate Democrats are misreading the American people's outrage as a mandate for yet another, yet another reckless taxing and spending spree. The bill is not subject to a filibuster, but advancing it will require the support of all 50 Democrats and a tie-breaking vote by Vice President Kamala Harris. The GOP plans to introduce dozens of amendments in an effort to slow or even derail the process. We have a bill which is a delicate balance between the moderates and the uh, center left and the progressive left in our conference. And any amendment to that bill could kill the bill. A final Senate vote is not expected to take place until late Sunday or even early Monday morning. If it passes, it would move on to the House for approval. Michael George, CBS News, New York.